Hey guys, welcome back. It's been quite a while since I made a video. I think it's been about a month. And yes, we finally got the backsplash in and a few other things. So we're pretty darn close to getting this all done. I would say we're probably like 95, 98% there. The only things that are missing are things that we haven't yet bought because either they aren't available yet or we just haven't done it. So as you can see, we finally have that backsplash up. We really, really love it. However, just like with this whole project, there were some obstacles, some challenges that we had to overcome to get it from where it was to where it is now. So the first thing was, so we got it up and reading the reviews online for this particular backsplash, they were saying that it was very hard to clean afterwards, that it got really hazy um, and to kind of wipe as you went. So that kind of maybe had uh, an effect onto the second part of our, our issue for this particular backsplash. But the first one was when it did finally get done, it was super, super, super hazy. Um, it, and no matter how many times you wiped it down, it just wasn't coming off. So we had to use a product called Cement Grout Haze Remover that we got from Home Depot. We didn't dilute it. We went through three or four different uh, bottles of that to get it to where it was to where it is it was really really bad and it says to dilute it you know if it's not that bad um, or just go full strength if it is and I didn't even dilute it from the beginning because I knew how bad it was no matter what we did no matter how we did it it wasn't coming out so we just used this stuff uh, to clean it up it wasn't uh, it wasn't the hardest thing to do it was just time consuming uh, obviously we didn't do it the contractor did it um, but I did buy the bottle, or at least the first one, and tried it on one of the, uh, the tiles here. And the difference was pretty big uh, between the little spot that I was doing and then the rest of it. Uh, but it wasn't great. And that's why we had to use three or four different bottles. We had to clean this thing so, 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 so many times to get it to where it is. It may not be 100% perfect, but it's actually a lot better uh, and I should say a lot, a lot better than it uh, was. Um, there might be, like I said, some spots, but overall it's, it looks great. And that leads us to the second issue. We used or we bought a black grout, but when it was done, the grout looked gray. We don't know exactly why that happened. Um, but we can only speculate as to why that happened. So a few things could have happened with it. He was wiping as he went, kind of. Uh, it wasn't like an, uh, a crazy wipe, but he was wiping. That could have removed some of the pigment from the actual grout. Or the second thing that could have happened was he just mixed it with too much water. Um, and that diluted the actual color of the pigment that was going into the, that was in the grout. We don't know what happened. However, um, we had to find a fix because the grout was a light gray and we did not like that at all. You know, one of the options was to remove the grout and redo it. And actually that was one of the options when the tile itself looked so hazy that, you know, we might have to just take the whole thing down and redo it either with a new product um, or just try it, to do it differently, I guess. Um, but I said, hey, let's try to clean this first. Let's try to find something that we can use to get the grout in the correct color. And that's what we did. And we found a product called Grout Refresh from Mape. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and they have a bunch of different colors and we went with jet black uh, and that's the grout color now and it goes on pretty easily 
it's like a little, I don't call it a squirt bottle, but kind of like that. And you kind of put it into the grout. And then with the paintbrush, you just literally paint it in. And then you gotta go back and clean it. The cleaning part is where it gets a little more tedious. Um, just because you got to get in there and clean up the excess paint, but you do need to let that soak in. It also seals it, uh, so it colors it and seals it. It's typically used when you have older grout that you want to change the color instead of like you know completely taking it apart or taking it out. But for our situation, it was brand new, but it wasn't the color we wanted, so we ended up using that, and I think it came out. Pretty damn nice. I'm pretty excited uh, with how it came out. It's not perfect, but I don't think anything ever is going to be perfect. But overall, we are very happy with the actual backsplash. Uh, as you know from earlier videos, we were gonna do the uh, Dekton as the backsplash, but it was cost prohibitive and this was much, much cheaper. The one thing about this particular backsplash, which we kind of knew going into it, was uniformity, had uniformity issues where some of the tiles weren't exactly the same color as the next. Uh, luckily, when we went to Home Depot, that's where we got this product, it was all from the same lot, so more or less, this all should have been the same color, and it was. Uh, we also knew the issues about how hard it is to clean it with that grout haze after you're done. So we were kind of worried about that. We hit that issue. Um, and also when you wipe this, um, it you, you could probably see it in different areas like right here. When you wipe it and you're, you go in different kind of motions, it just kind of changes the color. Kind of like when you have a... Uh, a carpet or a rug and you vacuum one way and it moves the pile that way and then you vacuum the other way and it kind of makes it look different. Um, this kind of does the same thing. Let me grab a, a microfiber and I can kind of show you and hopefully it comes up in the uh, video. So I'm gonna wipe right here. And I don't know if you can see, like if I go this way, it looks different. If I go that way. Hopefully we're able to see that. And no matter if, let's say I just wanna go one way, I feel like the other one still doesn't look the same. So that is kind of an annoying thing about this particular backsplash, that you can't get it to look all uniform, um, which is kind of annoying, but I think overall looks really, really nice. Something else that we really don't like is how shiny the silicone is. Uh, I don't see, I don't know if you can really tell how shiny it really is. Um, this is the same brand of grout that we used and they say to match it up with the color. However, it's like super, super shiny. And I guess that's what silicone is. It goes on super shiny. We wanted more of a matte color and or a matte finish i just don't think that exists and unfortunately we might be stuck with this i did find one product that had a matte finish but i think they only sell it in australia i gotta do a little bit more research to see if i can even get it here and if it'll even look good we also got the pot filler installed uh kind of not a last minute thing but initially we weren't going to do it um, but then we actually ended up doing it and I think it looks really nice and it works quite well. So we're happy about that addition to the kitchen um, because we you know, made sense to just get it done because you already had the walls open and all that as opposed to saying, oh man, I wish I would have done it or doing it afterwards, which would have made it, would have made it a lot more difficult to get done. The trimmer on the door is also in. So this is finally finished. Uh, I believe in the last video, this wasn't in yet. Um, so we got this done. I think these weren't even here yet. So uh, all the outlets have all their face plates on them. This job, you know, this kitchen renovation, this main floor renovation, as I like to call it, is pretty much done. Trim is in, face plates are in, and a bunch of other little things are done as well. Do you know what's better than having a kitchen that's almost fully done? Having royalty-free music that you can use 
to make the video where you talk about the kitchen that's almost fully done. But wait, you know what's even better than that? Having exclusive music that you can't find anywhere else but on audio. That's one of the tracks we're using right now in this video. And you probably want me to stop talking so you can listen to the track. Excuse my dog, he's kind of whiny right now. He wants to come out, he wants to come out and play. He really wants to come out and dance. He loves the music that's coming out exclusively on audio. So he's like, yo, can I come dance please? So we're gonna have a dance party right after I'm done filming this little bit because that's him saying, I just wanna dance. So let's do it. Link down in the description below, go to audio.com and don't forget to use code <laughs> crux of tech 10. So again, link in the description below, great music. I've been using audio for over three years now and I've never had any problems finding great music to put in all of my videos. And I know sometimes you say, wait, the music is too loud. Well, duh, it's that good. We want to listen to it. So go check it out. Audio.com, description below, Crux of Tech 10. Use that code. We also had the LED lighting installed. Uh, we put it under the cabinets on this end, over here, uh, and it goes around that way. And then also on top of the cabinets, since we don't have any uh, cabinets on our walls to do any under cabinet lighting in that sense. So we just did it in those and we're gonna finish it off on that end um, right under the countertop as well. We were excited about how that turned out. For these LED lights, we use the Hue lighting strip. Um, I know it's been more expensive than just getting uh, some of the other ones, but I wanted it to be uh, easy to use and worked consistently. Uh, we were looking at the Govi M1 product, but to make it work, um, cutting wise, I think it was gonna be a little too much. And maybe it wasn't, I don't know, but the first initial videos that I did see uh, made it seem like you really couldn't cut and keep going. Um, but with these, I knew you could. So we actually ended up using two different kits. One for this run that starts up top, goes to that side, comes down over in this way, and then one for the island. And we also bought some of those uh, extensions. Uh, so we went from there and then we came down with the extension here. And I'll link that down in the description below. Uh, I'll link all the stuff that I use down in the description below. And then we went under the floor with the fridges, under the range, and then this way. So that way there wasn't any of the strips being used unnecessarily. And I don't, exactly know the run from there to here where it finishes like this the amount of, of feet that was used but i think if i'm not mistaken the run the blank runs right the uh the kind of the uh what, what they call it, the extensions don't take up that 31 or 32 feet uh of recommended space let's call it that Hugh says that they can run. I believe this is more than that. And we tested that before we even installed them to make sure that if we did the, uh, the extensions, that wasn't taking up the, the amount of space, right? Because the space from up top to here is a 10 foot extension under there. We use a three foot and we use a three foot here. Uh, so that alone is 16 feet. And I'm pretty sure there's more than 16 feet of the actual Hue lights. Uh, so, it says 31 feet or 32 feet for the hue lights, but if you use the extension, um, if you need to get a little further, you are able to use that without losing any power. It does look very uniform throughout. So we are extremely happy with the way the LED lighting strips came out. Overall, we are very happy with how this all has turned out. A few things that we still haven't purchased, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned what those things were, the big ones is going to be the hood vent. So we're gonna get a hood vent put right in here. It's gonna be from Samsung. It's uh, from their Bespoke collection. And it's so weird and maybe this is like the whole kind of everything's still out of 
stock, out of order, chips, blah, 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 whatever. But they released their stainless steel bespoke hood vent, but their black stainless steel hasn't been released yet. And that's the one we want, obviously, to match everything in here and be cohesive. Uh, and we like that style of hood vent. So we're waiting for that to come out. Last I saw, summer of 2023. We're currently in summer of 2023, so it could be at any point, or it could be delayed. We don't know. So we're still waiting on that uh, to be released so we can order it. Another thing that we are waiting for, which I did order back in February, which is very uh, very small little thing, it's the strainers for the sink that we want them to be black, one on either side. We have a double sink here. And we've been waiting since February to get those. They were supposed to come in April and then got pushed back to like June and now it's pushed back to August. So when I ordered it from the website or from the site that I ordered it from, the store that I ordered it from, it said that it was in stock and obviously it wasn't. Another thing that we are holding off or haven't yet ordered are the blinds for the glass gliding door. We are gonna be getting, I believe, it's called smart wings, smart blinds. We are still deciding whether we're gonna go with the double or single roller blinds. I guess for heat efficiencies and cooling and all that stuff might help. So we're kind of still waiting uh, or making, waiting to make that decision uh, because it is obviously double the price to get the double over the single because you're getting two instead of one. One of the other things that we are still waiting for or waiting to buy, and right now the TV that we want is out of stock, I believe. So the TV for the living area over there, still waiting to buy that. And another thing that we're still waiting to buy is the TV stand entertainment center, I guess you can call it because we aren't sure exactly which one we want, but I think we've kind of narrowed it down to a few options as well as the TV. So the one that we did have there previously, we really do like, but when we took everything out of this space to get this, uh, to be able to you know do the work and the construction and all, we moved it to our bedroom and we actually like it in there. So we're gonna keep that in there, same with the TV. Um, and right now we have what used to be our old TV in the bedroom down here, um, but it's super small. But for the time being, we actually just put it up this week um, just to have something down here uh, to watch TV or just have something on whenever. So right now that TV looks super out of place because that room over there on that wall is so big and that TV is so small. But it's actually been nice having something here. We haven't had something down here since, you know, we bought the TV up there. And even once we finished and we're able to put that area back together, more or less. We didn't have anything. Um, and it's actually been quite nice to sit down on the couch and watch some TV. So that's all I have for this particular video. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please give it a nice thumbs up. Any comments, questions, suggestions, you know where to leave them. Put them down in the comment section below. Definitely love hearing from you. Big thing is, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. That'd be great. Definitely would enjoy having you as a part of this community. I know I've been doing a lot of videos not really centered on tech, um, but on this particular construction uh, renovation build. Uh, but within this construction renovation, there were a lot of things that we used that were smart home things that I will also make a video on either dedicated or just one big video with everything and then maybe make a dedicated video on it all. So that there was some tech involved things with this. And yeah, I will make a video. I just wanted to kind of show you the, the evolution or the journey of this construction that was supposed to take two months, start in January, be done by March. But here we are, it is July 21st, and we're still not done yet, but we're almost there. So again, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the series. The next renovation project that we're doing is down in the family room. We are changing the floor, replacing the carpet with a new floor down there. And that'll be the next thing that we do, which that should take only a couple of days cross your fingers. 
But thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, the whole thing. And if you've liked this, I already said that. What I need to say now is, and like always, keep on living a modern lifestyle through technology. Bye. See ya in the next one. I promise I'm gonna be making more tech videos soon. Have something uh, that we're actually very excited about, hopefully getting in the next couple of weeks. That might be the next video. I don't know. I've been slacking on making new videos. I 100% know that. I gotta make some more videos. This whole project I think has really just taken a lot out of me. I don't wanna call it stress, but stress, I guess, uh, because of how long it took and all that. But I do need to start making some more tech-centric, tech product, tech software-related things. And I will do that for you guys, because that's what you guys want. We'll do that, okay? Cool. See you in the next one. Peace. Bye. Love you all.